Welcome back, guys. So, last update I told you people about how Malini planted a bomb on the microphone that Emily will be using to, you know, do her report on the Independence Day occasion. And this episode will be shown next week, that is, after this week, Upper Week's episode is what we're talking about. And um, also, here is the episode that Emily, Chini, Ariane, and the whole Rato family's life is in danger. As likely, if anything goes wrong in this episode, all of them are going to die. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't as we jump straight into the video of today to see how Ariane and Emily will team up to save everyone and if they will be able to save everyone because there were a lot of complications in this scene. Malini goes to Anu and takes her away from the event, telling her about the bomb. However, Emily overhears them and goes after them, not knowing that they are Anu and Malini. Further, Emily takes the dictation machine from Brinku, the security guard, and starts going around trying to find the bomb without causing a panic in the public. Meanwhile, Malini tells Anu to hurry up as they have only one minute left after the bomb is turned on. After the flag hosting event, Emily finds a signal on the dictation machine and goes towards Ariam who is holding the mic. One Chini comes there and takes the mic from Ariam and started to sing the national anthem on stage. Ariam sees Emily's weird expression and asks her what's wrong to which Emily informs him about the bomb in the mic Chini is using to sing the national anthem towards Chini who is on the stage and takes the mic from her. Further, both of them runs away from the public and they throw it together in air, saving all of them as the bomb blasts in the air and doesn't injure anyone. Ariane holds Emily close to her as they both get lost in each other's eyes and forget about the chaos happening around them. However, Emily notices the flagpole falling and rushes to save it from touching the ground as the people started causing a stampede. Emily formulates a plan and starts giving a speech on overthrowing the attacker's plan and celebrating Independence Day with glory. Further, the minister praises Emily's bravery and tells her that she will be remembered why Emily states that she was only doing her duty as a citizen of India. On the other hand, Anu notices Malini missing earring and informs her why Emily finds the missing earring at the event and thinks of herself that it belongs to the lady who wanted to do the bombing. Back in the parking lot, Malini is about to throw away the second earring when the Rato family comes there and starts talking to them. Malini gets worried as Anu foolishly tells the Rato that she called Malini to take her out of the events as soon as she learns about the bombing. After school them for thinking only about themselves and not informing the Rato family as she angrily asks them if they were the ones who planted the bomb. In anger, the earring fell off Malini's hands and Chini notices it and questions Malini about it. However, Malini lies that she is she was going to wear it now. Just then, a police officer comes here and informs them that Emil have provided them with some evidence against the corporate and takes Arian with him. The Rato family goes back home while Malini and Anu also hurries out of their scared of being caught. On the other hand, Arian gets to Emily and is shocked when she tells the police officer praising her about basket time being back in the game of news reporting. Afterward, both Emily and Arian talk at the same time and Arian tells Emily that Hachini is his little Miss Sugar. Emily wonders if he would be the same with her if she learns that Chini is none other than their good year. Emily tells Arian not to abandon basket time and he tells that he will leave getting ready he left later anu dreams of being jailed and wakes up scared why malini comes at them that they will get a similar earring made before anyone can connect it to her just then arian calls malina and informs her to get ready to come to her office as back as basket time the corporate who have planned the attack on independence day soon as malini reaches the office she start she start lecturing the employees and gets stopped by emily who tells her that arian will be the one to speak as he is now the boss arian introduces himself to everyone as the ceo and the owner of basket time and tells the employee to find the corporate based on the evidence that emily gave to everyone an employee praises emily for bringing back arian to the office while emily says that arian is back permanently malini worries about her financial fraud being exposed if arian if arian returns and her having to go to jail as well just then malini Horse fails off and her earring falls out of it, which Emily notices and gets shocked. Emily confronts Malini and tells the police that she has found 
the culprit so guys like i told you i'm doing this update serially so that you guys won't be confused if you follow from the beginning of emily we were talking about how emily have been convincing Aaron to take up the project and go back to his company Aaron have refused obviously before this episode that he agreed and now um malini now wanted to kill emily but because emily returned back and fired almost fired her and challenged her position in basketball time malini wants to kill emily before you know Arian will be convinced to return now um that was how the bombing incident happened and now after the bombing incident now Arian have decided to come back to office and resume his duty and um, also now um emily have also found out as well that the culprit who did this is malini and is reporting to the police and hopefully i will also do continuation of this particular episode i'm not skipping any of the episode i'll do continuation of this particular episode next video likely tomorrow on how malini will face the police what will she tell the police and the also, police what will she tell the police and also how will anu react after her dream of going to jail comes true i'll see you guys next time and bye guys